I want to catch these guys. Oh god, here he comes. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. That was scary as hell. Hello, Evolution Nation, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Legends Arceus. Today, we are finally going to start the post-game legendary hunt. If you're hyped for the video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Answer the question of the day down below in the comment section and share this video with all your friends. I would really, really appreciate it. Also, please follow me on Twitter as well. And uh, let's just get right into it. So, I do have a couple things I want to say before we get going. We're going to start with the Lake Trio. I want to start with them because they're kind of the, the other main set of legendaries in this game, apart from Dialga Palkia. So, we're going to start with the late trio and then we're going to move to probably Giratina and then Cresselia slash Regigigas and uh, Darkrai and do those trio in some order I'm not sure but uh, that's what we're going to do I have done a lot of, uh, and you'll kind of see my team is a little bit weird right now. I'm going to have to go to the uh, boxes and kind of get my regular team ready again. But uh, I have been doing a lot of Pokedex completion. I've been doing a lot of catching to try to get to the Pokedex fill up. I haven't done any, like, 10 rank or anything. I've done some shiny hunting uh, on my fr in my free time. Here are my shinies. I thought I'd just show you guys my shinies that I've been getting on my free time. I got him a champ named Hulk. I've got Goofball, the... Uh, Voltorb, who I'm going to evolve into uh, Electrode. I got my Gyarados, my Scarlet, uh, my Vanth, the uh, female Basket Legion. We've got Encanto, the uh, Chatot. I love Encanto. I love the movie, too. Umbreon, this Umbreon, I had to... I tell you, there's a whole story about this Umbreon. I don't want to get into too much of it, but my gosh, this Umbreon gave me one heck of a time getting from, like, trying to catch a... First of all, trying to catch the Eevee. Um... That took forever, and then, of course, I have to get this thing to be friendly enough by just running around and breaking stuff and just getting Pokemon out of trees and whatever else to get the friendship up, and that was a whole nother uh, thing. And then we got Anastasia and Drizella, and the story behind Anastasia and Drizella is that these two, I had, I was going for a shiny Sneasel, and in the same outbreak, I got two Pokemon, shiny Sneasel, Two of them, both female. I was like, I gotta find a, a famous duo of ugly sisters or something because I said they're not the uh, greatest when they evolve. They look kind of strange. I don't really care for the way Sneasler looks, but you know what? I thought great name, great name. So I thought I'd show you guys my shinies. Let's get onto the team. I gotta make this team back the way it was again. Um, where is my setup? Okay, so we have them down here. Okay, we need Apollo and we need Oddball. So move them. No, I need Empoleon off and Apollo on. Okay, so now our team is back to the way it looked on our original thing. Yep, we're all good there. Cool. And then I realized I have been not running this entire game. Another thing I didn't realize I was doing. I can hold down the left stick and run. And I had no idea that you could do that. If you hold down the stick, I can actually run like a normal being. I don't have to crouch as like my slow. I thought this was as fast as I could go. No, guys, there's a whole nother bent. I, I had no idea I could even run in this game. So thank you to everybody who's been either pointing it out to me. If you've been in the comment section or everybody that I've learned from on YouTube lately, watching all the content and the streams that I've been watching. I'm a, I'm a moron. Anyway, guys, let's get going. We are going to go get a uh, Mesprit first. I have no idea what the... Um, first, I probably should check my ball status here. Everyday items. What do we got for balls? Uh, I got 53 Ultra Balls. I'm going to see how long it takes for me to get Mesprit. 53 Ultra Balls should be okay. I will see. But... Um, Obviously, we've got these these Crimson Mirelands, but all these little uh, markings here are for the lakes, the lake trios. So I'm going to head to the Fieldlands camp. And guys, I'll meet you when we get to the lake. All right, we're here at the lake, guys. If you stay tuned in the rest of this video, make sure to stay tuned because I'm going to be trying for the first time in this video. I'm going to be trying the new Sage Mode G Fuel flavor in this video. See if you if you made it this far, stick around because later in the video, I'm going to be trying the Sage Mode G Fuel flavor for the first time. So do you do not want to miss that. Let's go into the cave and see what's awaiting. I'm excited. I'm excited. I have no idea how these boss battles are going to go. I have not been told anything. I have not seen anything. The blindness continues. 
Can you? Okay. Oh. So I just battle you like normal? Oh. So can I just chuck a ball at you and go in the battle? Okay. Is this the theme? I have no idea. I think it is. Oh, yeah. Can't hit you again with that. Oh, recover. Okay, of course. Of course you got recover. Another thing I didn't realize is on the side of the screen, out here on the uh, right next to me where I'm like pointing, the, the order in which the moves are going, I had no idea that, that I could look at that and know what the attack order was depending on if I went, you know, I didn't know. You should look at that and figure out if you should go agile or not. I'm a moron, but I've been doing that wrong the entire game. Okay, so let's Infernal Parade you again. Okay, now you're burned, so now I'm on a timer. So I gotta start throwing balls. I'm gonna hope that you decide to heal. Okay, good, you recovered, that's good. But I can't Infernal Parade you again. I'm gonna have to Flame Wheel. This music is so good. I like this better than the original from Diamond and Pearl and uh, Brilliant Diamond Shiny Pearl. I like this better. It's mythical. Oh, it healed its burn. Okay, at least this isn't like I have to throw bombs at you or anything. At least this is kind of normal. I like that this is not anything crazy. I like it. But I bet it gets crazier later. Um, chuck this thing and please stay in. Okay, first ball. I don't know if that was supposed to happen. I don't know if that was meant to happen. I don't know if that was scripted to be won. There are two more lake Pokemon left to be caught. Nice. Well, that, so that's the other reason why I've been trying to get all these uh, Pokemon done because uh, I know I have a lot of legendaries to go uh, get in these uh, videos as well that I have to yet to record. So by doing all these off-game, you know, these off-screen uh, Pokedex Dex completions, uh, I'm able to, you know, save the legendary. So now we're going to start increasing our Dex more. If I showed you my Dex, you'll see I have 191 caught, which is 250 in this game. There's some legendaries. I still have a lot of evolutions to go. I'm not exactly as far as I'd like, uh, but I'm, I'm getting there. And then obviously, I'm just going to say it after, you know, we uh, do these legendaries, I'm going to be doing some streams to do dex completion. So once this series is finished being uploaded on the channel, or at least finished recording, uh, I'm going to start being able to stream the stuff, so that way you guys can join me in finishing this dex and give me tips, and uh, I'm, I'm going to be enjoying the time to hang out with you guys, because I feel like I haven't streamed in a long time, which I really haven't. It's been a long time, and I miss hanging out with y'all. I miss hanging out with the Evolution Nation on stream. I miss being with you guys, and uh, I miss the, uh, the back and forth you know I didn't think it was gonna be this long of a, uh, a gap and you know I miss it so I'm excited for us to get uh, back together and hanging out again on stream so if you guys are hyped for that stay tuned it will be uh, it'll be back sooner than you think so I don't know why I'm not just teleporting back I probably could I probably actually should just teleport back, but anyway, a lot of stuff's been going on in my life lately, and then again, oh, there's a wisp, I gotta get that, because again, that's another thing we have to do, is uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save that for maybe the streams, I don't know, but, uh, wisp hunting, um, I gotta get all these wisps, and I don't, there's only three left in this area, so it's really not as bad as, uh, you know, you might have thought, but anyway, a lot of stuff has been going on lately with me, and it's because, I mean, ever since this game came out, I, I played this game on my vacation for like five days in a row and beat it so a lot of the videos everything you've seen on the channel so far uh, up to this video today uh, has been recorded all in a matter of five days this video has been recorded two weeks later so even though you're seeing it a day after the last one I'm telling you I have missed playing this game and missed recording it for you guys I really have and a lot of stuff has gone on we'll get into that in a little bit but anyway let's hop off our bar our bear here report our findings 
We've caught one Pokemon, and we caught the ancient Mystic Pokemon Mispert. Get 909 for that. Should give me more for being a legendary. How is that going to do for our decks and our star ranking? Doesn't really give me much. It just counts it as a normal Pokemon, which is dumb. Return to the village, and we'll head to the Crimson Mirelands next. And uh, I will meet you guys, I think, at the uh, Lake of Valor. So I'll see you there in a second. All right, we are here at Lake Valor, and we're ready to head on in to see our buddy Azelf, my favorite of these mystical, mystical, mythical Pokemon, uh, the legendary Lake Trio. I love Azelf the best. He's the fastest. He's got the least defense, but you know what? He's the offensive uh, sweeper of the group. And I love him because he's blue. All right. Well, we're going to do the same thing we did the last time. We're just going to chuck the ball in and go. I don't know if this is like the way you're supposed to do it or if you're just supposed to throw balls at him. I'm not sure what, what they expect you to do, but that's fine. We'll just take it this way and uh, we'll just do it the same way we did Mesprit. Okay, that did a lot. I'm glad it didn't burn. I don't know if he's going to have recover. Maybe not. I don't think so, actually. I don't think so. Um, we're gonna go... Jeez, let's see here. Let's go to... Mordi. Why not? Because, you know, I love my bear. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Items. I'm gonna just do it this way because I forgot you can do it this way. Nope. Yeah, throw the Ultra Ball right like that. Just like that, just like that, just a couple slit, just a couple clicks away. Oh, okay, okay. So we know that the first ball you throw is not supposed to catch it automatically. That's good to know. Adopted a hard hitting stance. Interesting. Mythical power. I'm gonna throw another Ultra Ball. I'm no, I don't want to hit him again. I'm gonna knock him out. And I don't know if they respawn or anything. Two! So, the, okay. Is this, is this really what it, we're doing? One catches one, the, the number two catches the second one, and are we gonna throw three balls to catch the third one? I don't know. There's one more Lake Pokemon to be caught, and we're gonna go catch him. And we're gonna go there now. Uh, and I'm gonna be right back. Uh, I promised you guys I'd try the new flavor. The new flavor I have ever received. I'll be right back. I'll meet you guys at Lake Acuity, and I'm gonna have a freshly made, and as you can see, there is no seal broken on this tub either. It's completely fresh. So I'm gonna try it for you for, for the first time. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go make me a shaker of sha Sage Mo G Fuel. I'll catch you on the other side. All right, so I, I made the shaker. Look at the orange color that this made. Look at that orange. Oh my goodness. That is so vibrant. I can't wait to try this, guys. If you know I'm a big enjoyer G Fuel, as you can tell, uh, this is exciting. Oh my goodness. Holy, holy crap. I've been told this was like the best new flavor. Oh, wow. This. Slaps! This slaps, dude! Oh no. Holy crap! P Pamela White Peach? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! This music fits so well! Holy crap, dude. Oh, guys, you got to go pick yourself up some of this on G Fuel's website right now. Sage mode. Oh, my good move over shiny splash. Am I right? No, this is joining shiny splash up at the top. Two, two flavors right now that are my two favorites. Shiny Splash, as always, the hydration flavor is amazing as well. If you haven't checked out that video, please make sure to do so. And this Sage mode. Oh. Holy goodness. I'll be buying more of that when this tub's gone, that's for sure. You can best believe it. All right. Where am I? I am at... Yes, I have to go to the next lake. That's right. I was going to tell you I was going to meet you there. I got too excited. I just had to try this right now. Oh, 
Wow. Mama. Okay, let's go to the lake. I'll catch you guys at Lake Acuity. All right, we are here. We are here. Do not fear. Paul is here. We are coming in to get Ooksy now. And I always never really cared for Ooksy all that much. But he'll be able to eat my hits, though. I'm certain of it. I'm excited for it, too. I'm certain he's going to eat my hits just fine. Kayoon or Kyoon or whatever they say. I don't even know what it is. I'm gonna try just for the sake of it. Oh, you can't throw balls at them because they they lock on you right away. That's why. Oh, hello. Yeah, so we're just gonna have to. Oh, I was gonna say, can I just throw you? Oh, get the ball in the battle. Thank you. I was overthrowing, I think. The heck. What the heckles, dude? Infernal Parade, let's go. Mm. So good, this flavor. I, I'm, I haven't chugged this much in a long time. It's only been a few minutes. All right, that destroyed us, uh, but he did raise his defenses, so he'll eat another Infernal Parade easily. Just don't burn him. All right, so if Asubius goes down, and I'm fine with that. Uh, we are going to go... I'm going to go to Apollo and eat these Psychic-type attacks. I know Apollo can do it because he's a Psychic-type bird, okay? All right. Uh, I want to get back into the habit of throwing him like this, okay? I got to go X. I got to go Z. I got to go Z, R, K. Boom! Bingo! Yahtzee! One shot! Hello! And goodbye. Alright, so we got the uh, three beings of the lakes. And we got a, a Draco plate for it. Nice, and that's what we're doing too. We gotta collect the uh, gotta collect the plates from the legendaries. That's cool, plate of the lakes. It is complete. It is complete, and so are we. Now, do we do anything with this knowledge? Do we go back to see Kukita? There seems to be three more plates left for you to find. Yes, Corselia, Regigigas, and Darkrai, I do believe, are the three. Um, do we need to go see them, or do we just have to figure out where to go next, I guess, is my question. Not exactly sure, but we are very close. Like, we've only been recording for 24 minutes, and with the cuts I've made, we're probably around 15 minutes right now. So we do have time uh, to do some other stuff in this video if we really wanted to. Um, I'm going to go back to the Ice Peak Camp, and we're going to turn in our findings, and I'm going to go see... If there's anything else we want to go do and uh, see what next what the next legendary may or may not be that we want to go find I think while I'm here I might as well stay and do Regigigas and see what that entails anyway at least most illuminating data habitat is unknown because it's in my pocket now it is in my pocket. All right uh, return to the village we are going to continue excursioning and like I said while we're here we might as well head up towards the Temple of the Reggies. Mm. This Sage Mode is making me go. Go Sage Mode. All right. Um, pardon me for the uh, Naruto references that I do not understand because I've never seen the show. Probably been missing out on a lot. But again, I haven't seen the show, so I can't really make the proper references if I'm embarrassing any of you f uh, Naruto fans. Uh, apologies. Um... I gotta get up there. I guess we're gonna have to sneezler our way up. I will climb with my bird as high as I can and then sneezler claw the way all the way up to the top from here. Let's get off a of sneezler. Let's go see what this guy has to say. Are you gonna tell me anything about this Reggie that's running rampant? I've heard that the trick is to pay attention. Okay, no, you're still starting to say the same thing. That's fine. Can we go in here now? Or do we have to go all the way to the top again? Don't make me do it. Don't make me go all the way to the top again. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to go all the way to the top again, aren't you? Great. Alright guys, well while we're running to the top. Did I slow down? I think I slowed down. Yeah, I'm kinda not really running as fast. I don't know. I get tired. I think I get tired. I think I can only run in one direction. If I try to change. I think that's why I, I think I can't really run upstairs that fast. And I can't change directions while I'm speed running either. Well, maybe I can some, in some sense. I don't know. I feel like I wasn't able to. 
Yeah, see, like, I stopped there for a second. I'm not sure. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's not... Maybe it's... Maybe I do get tired. I don't know. If it's anything like uh, Legend of Zelda, it's not going to show me my, uh, my little stamina gauge, but I'm sure I have one of some sort. Um, okay, and then this was the way we had to go from here. But guys, I've been watching, my wife and I have been watching this, this show lately, and she's been watching it a lot. Uh, she's watched it before, and she's kind of re-watching it for me. Oh, jeez. Um, I want to catch these guys. Oh, God, here he comes. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. That was scary as hell. Can you not see me? Please. I do not want to cause you any troubles. Oh my god, that was scary. Turn around! Go home! Yeah, thank you, go home. He is gonna go home. He's gonna go home and he doesn't see me, but I'm gonna go very slowly. But anyway, we've been watching this show lately, and like I said, she's seen it before, and I haven't. It's called Manifest. It was on, I think, was it on NBC or FX or something? I forgot what channel it was on. Maybe it was on ABC. It might have been on ABC. And, um, guys, it is such an absolutely crazy show, and they're going to with a fourth season on Netflix. If you guys haven't seen it, you really need to. Get that thing! Get in there! Nope. And now I'm sleeping. I gotta catch this thing. I have to catch this Curlia. Oh, he's... he's onto me now. He's onto me! Did they catch you off guard enough? Get there. Okay, we're getting into, we're getting into battle then. I'm gonna send my psychic bird out, and you're gonna get into battle. Uh, but anyway, this great this show is amazing. Hyper beam! Holy moly! It's basically about this family. And the uh, part of the family takes a plane back, and the plane disappears five and a half years later. That uh, they come back and, and they re you know, they see these visions and they get these callings and stuff, and they try to figure out what they mean. And uh, it's ob absolutely crazy. If you guys haven't seen it, I'm not going to spoil it because uh, season four is still not released yet. So I, that is going to be very exciting for when that season comes out. But uh, if you guys are kind of into like the sci fi stuff, you will absolutely love this show like I have. It is absolutely amazing. One of the best shows I've ever seen in my life. And again, I don't want to get into too many details because I don't want to spoil it because I hate spoilers. And as I've said in my video where you don't want to spoil it, I'm not going to say anything about it. But you guys should really check it out if that's the type of stuff you're into. Um, yeah, we're going to just throw this Ultra Ball right now. I want to catch this Gallade. He's not in my Pokedex yet. I don't have him to get the Alpha. Just make it that much more special. That ball's kind of not sitting in that step right. But yeah, the the the, uh, the sister's a cop. She works with a cop who hasn't seen the things that they've seen, but you know they used to be dating. So there's that that love interest tug and war thing going on, and it's just absolutely wild. Like the kid had cancer, and you know these are all like background information. Like I'm just like set, kind of setting the scene for you. The kid had cancer, but he's like more special than the everybody else, and it's pretty apparent early on in the show in season one like the first couple episodes that he's uh, a little bit different it's it's absolutely outstanding let's thunder wave this thing right now get him a little bit more uh, ready to be catched catched the more ready to be caught if you will come on now throw that ball stay in there lock yourself in yeah boom ba bam Get that Gallade. Newly acquired. Some grit gravel and some seeds of mastery. Love it. Now I only need Gardevoir. Now I only need Gardevoir in the family. Oh, and we got a Ralts. We got a Ralts. 
We gotta roll to the run. We gotta roll to the run. And Ralts is running away. Ralts is gone. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. See you later. All right. Where are we at? How much further do we got? Where are we going? How much more? Regigigas, I'm coming for you. You heard it here. First live on the scene. Live from the center of the mountain. In the temple, deep on top of him. I mean, I think he'd be in here. I mean, if I'm... I could be completely off base. He might not even be in here. He might not even be on top. I don't even know. Like, in Diamond and Pearl, I believe he was buried, like, under... Like, you climbed down to get to him. He might not even be here. I might be completely wrong. I have been up here once. Is he up here? No! He must be somewhere else. Interesting. Um, he must be underneath. I'm gonna do some exploring in there and I'll cut to when I find him. Okay, so this comes down here. Oh. That's definitely, uh... That's definitely Regigigas. Can I open the door? Oh. That's definitely his statue. That's definitely him. I'm floating on the ground, by the way. I'm like six inches off the ground. Oh, wouldn't, you have, wouldn't have expected you to run up in here, Paul. What are you up to? You're here to try to find the secrets lurking in Snowpoint Temple, aren't you? That's what my clairvoyance told me. They're floating, too. You do, get ten, you do tend to get mixed up in all sorts of strange going-ons, Paul. This door here, well, they say it's, uh, they say behind it sleeps a Pokemon so great it could tow around the entire, the entirety of the continents that lie to the south. Lie to the south? Continents that lie to the south. And we haven't seen them. Maybe that is, dare I say, DLC. Continents that lie to the south. Map opens up, slide to the south, we go there, boom. No matter what we do, this door just won't seem to open. Oh, so I need to figure out how to open it. The stone plate and icicle plate you you carry seem to be reacting to the door. Okay. Stone plate and icicle plate seem to be reacting to the door. I need the third plate. I need the steel plate. I don't know where to get that. Interesting. Well, let's look up. Let's use our old trusty Steve Google to find out what we got to do here. <laughs> we got to go get Heatran first. So, guys, in the next episode, we're going to get Heatran. We're going to Fire Spit Island to go get Heatran. And after Heatran, then we're going to come back here to the uh, Regigigas Temple. Guys, I hope you're excited for the rest of this series and the post game that's left. If, you're, if you are, hit that like button and subscribe again if you're new. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.